Builder. Cost, anywhere from $600 to $800, new or used. Full frame equivalent of 25 millimeters to 50 millimeters. Great range for narrative filmmaking. It's got minimal focus breathing, 120 degree focus throw. It's sharp and it works with the Metabones and Viltrox adapters. Done, roll that intro. What's up everybody and welcome back to Too Long Didn't Read Filmmaker where the answers comes first, the reasons come last, but we are always learning. So today we're gonna find out whether or not the Sigma 18 to 35 f-stop 1.8 <laughs> is the right lens for you. Now I'm gonna be coming at this from a narrative filmmaking standpoint, so please keep that in mind. Now, the biggest reason why I bought this lens is because of its ability to work so well on a narrative film set. It's got a constant aperture, which allows me to not have to switch out a bunch of different prime lenses. I can effectively get a 24 millimeter look, a 35 millimeter look, and a 50 millimeter look, if we're talking about its full frame equivalent, in one lens. Not only that, this one lens doesn't actually expand in or out. So if you're using a matte box, you don't have to worry about that. This lens can just stay put. And also the focus throw. The focus throw is approximately 120 degrees, which is just enough. It's not quite like a cinema lens where it goes over 200 degrees, but in terms of usability in a focus pole, this is not that bad. Not only that, the focus ring is buttery smooth. There's no noticeable kinks and there's no noticeable crazy stickiness to it. It works very well and I'm super happy about that. The lens optics in this thing is really, really sharp, even at wide open. And because I use it with my Viltrox speed boosted adapter, it gets even sharper and I get a little bit more depth of field as far as my GH5 is concerned. So what's the bottom line here? If you're a narrative filmmaker like I am, and you're just looking for one lens or maybe something to upgrade from all the lenses that you have, if you use these focal ranges a lot like I do, then yes, this lens works very, very well. Again, it's very sharp. You got a constant aperture. The focus pole is awesome. It's buttery smooth. It doesn't expand. That's a lot of stuff that you can do with one lens. Now, obviously this lens is going to be a little bit more expensive compared to certain things, but I used a lot of the Rokinon primes and the Rokinon primes came in at approximately 400 to 500 dollars a lens and if you look for this sigma on the used market you can actually get it close to 600 dollars which is not that bad especially when you add that 200 dollars speed booster from viltrox to it you're at 800 dollars and yes this very video is being shot with the sigma 18 to 35 right now and that does it for this video if you have any questions please leave it down in the comment section below i will get to them as fast as i can and hey if this video has made all the difference in your purchasing decision i would really appreciate it if you use my amazon affiliate links down below this costs nothing extra to you it just gives me a little kickback so that i can continue making videos like this for you until then hit that subscribe button and i will see you in the next one